A decade ago, I reviewed the original iRig HD on this channel. Hey guys, it's Patrick here from the GarageBand Guide. Today, I'm going to check out the iRig HD. We're going to unbox that bad boy and we'll have a listen to how it sounds in a quick demo at the end. Since then, IK Multimedia have released a version 2 of the iRig HD, a full-blown guitar-focused audio interface, and many more cool music-making gadgets. Their latest bit of kit sees IK Multimedia come full circle. The iRig HDX is a super portable audio interface designed specifically for iOS guitarists. Sounds familiar, right? Well, this time around, IK Multimedia have packed this wee thing with a whole host of useful features. In this exclusive first look, I'll go hands-on with the iRig HDX and check out how it sounds. Quick disclaimer before we get started, IK Multimedia sent me this iRig HDX in order to review it, but this isn't a sponsored video. IK Multimedia have had no say in the content of this video, and they're seeing it for the first time, the same time that you are. Inside the iRig HDX's box, you will find some documentation and QR codes to download the packaged software. More on that in a bit. The iRig HDX interface itself, one USB-C to USB-C cable, and a USB-C to lightning cable. And that's it. Slap bang in the middle of the iRig HDX is the multifunction knob. This controls everything. All of the features of the interface. It's got a nice soft, almost rubbery feel to it and has a nice satisfying click when turned. Above the knob, these four blue LEDs show you the currently selected function. Headphones volume, FX slash through, direct monitoring, and loopback plus mode. You cycle through each of these features by clicking on the multifunction knob. There's also a built-in tuner you can access by pressing and holding on it. On the bottom of the iRig HDX is a quarter-inch instrument input where you can attach your guitar or bass, and a quarter-inch amplifier output jack. This allows you to send the process signal, i.e. from an app in your iPad, or a direct unprocessed signal out to your amplifier. On the top of the interface, you'll find a 3.5mm headphone output Plus, and I can't stress how big a deal this little port is, a USB-C connection to hook the iRig HDX up to your iPhone, iPad or Mac. The reason I find this so exciting is that up until this point, pretty much all IK Multimedia products, from streaming microphones to other portable audio interfaces, have used their own proprietary connection. It's by far the thing I like least about IK Multimedia gear, as if your supplied cable goes kaput, or if you lose it or something, you're stuffed and need to buy a replacement direct from IK Multimedia themselves. Well, no longer. Very happy to see this new iRig model outfitted with a USB-C connection. Build quality wise, the iRig HDX's fully plastic construction doesn't feel like it will withstand too much heavy duty rocking and rolling. The upside of that being that it is super duper portable. You can just stick this in your pocket when you're heading out for a spot of al fresco riffage and you'll barely even feel that it's there. The plasticity of IK Multimedia's gear tends to be a bit of a sticking point for their users, but personally, I've bought loads of IK Multimedia's doohickeys over the years, they're all made of plastic, and none of them have ever failed on me, so I guess your mileage may vary. The iRig HDX comes with three versions of Amplitube SE and the marvellous Tonex SE for both Mac and iOS, though it will of course work with any guitar-flavoured app or plugin 
you care to pair it with. I'll stick with Tonex for the following wee demo though, as it is bloody brilliant. I'll be hooking up the iRig HDX via the USB-C to USB-C cable to my iPad Pro. If you're just looking for a really portable interface to plug your guitar or your bass into your iPad, it doesn't get much better than this. If you want to take things a bit further, you can also make use of Loopback Plus. That lets you route channel 3 to audio apps such as Tonex for processing and then route their output through the Loopback feature and into channels 1 and 2, going to your streaming app of choice. Being able to stream live performances to your audience on Facebook or TikTok, etc., with just one wee black box is definitely evidence that we're living in the future. Listen, I really like this. It's great to see IK Multimedia giving iOS guitarists a wee bit of love. And I really like that they finally seem to be willing to move on from the whole proprietary cable connection thing. The iRig is definitely back. Let me know your thoughts on the iRig HDX down in the comments, and if you could give that like button a gentle yet passionate kiss on the cheek on your way past, I'd really appreciate it. To find out more about making music with your guitar on your iOS device, watch this next. <laughs>